VectorWorks Spotlight 2010 has new robust video objects available in the Spotlight toolset. The new tools are the Television Tool, the Video Screen Tool, and the Blended Screen Tool, which works in conjunction with the blended projectors. These first-class tools produce intelligent objects that can display images and rendered views, indicate the optimum viewing area, and display custom values and stand configurations. For example, let's take this existing event room layout and add two televisions to the left and right of the stage. In the Object Info palette for the television, you can choose a TV type, which includes flat panel, CRT, and CRT curved. You can also choose the casing, which ranges from 19-inch LCDs to 65-inch plasmas, and add a TV stand if desired. Another great feature is the ability to show the coverage zones for the TV. This option will visually indicate the viewing area covered by the specific television. You can set the coverage zone to display based on height or diagonal measurements. You can also set the screen image to be displayed when rendering. Any changes made will be shown in the preview pane. Let's mirror a duplicate of this TV to the other side of the stage. Switching to a rendered 3D view, you can see the logo on the screens. As you may have observed, these televisions do not allow the entire audience to view the screens. To solve this, you can try placing a larger TV or you could use a video screen object instead. Once the video screen is placed, notice in the Object Info palette that you have three screen types to choose from, front projector, rear projector, and LED. The diagonal sizes range from 92 inches to 360 inches. Since the projector is not sitting on the floor in front of the audience, we will change the vertical position to be rigged. Additionally, you have options for the projector model, screen legs, and dress kit, along with many other parameters. You can see by the projector's width that everyone in the room can view the video. Let's verify this using the projector's height. The coverage area is smaller, but everyone in the room can in fact see. The screens also have display options that are valuable to communicating installation. For this example, let's show the coverage zones and the lens information by changing it in the Object Info palette. As you can see, the coverage zone and the lens information shows on the drawing. Using a projector would be adequate for a room of the previous size, but for a larger area or event, you would likely need to use a blended screen. Let's place a blended screen. Notice you will have all of the same options available to you as with the video screen objects. Looking at the coverage area for this blended screen, we can see that the whole area is covered according to the screen's width. but not by the height. Let's increase the screen's height to 4 meters. Notice the screen is about 20 meters by 4 meters, so one projector could not display this image. In the Object Info palette, there is an option to not show multiple projectors, show them stacked, or show them side by side. We'll select side by side, and then click the Insert Projector button to show the blended projectors. The new video objects in VectorWorks Spotlight 2010 will help you to very easily design, visualize, and communicate your projection needs easily.